for instance, has the corporate media been fixated on Trump's tariffs plans and been covered that ad nauseum versus maybe covering the fact that the uh, big banks are about to be deregulated again? 16 Democrats voted for that, pushing over, pushing it over the goal line so that the Republicans could pass, basically weakening Dodd-Frank. Why isn't that talked about as much as Trump's tariffs on MSNBC or NBC? I got news for you because the parent companies of NBC and MSNBC, the parent company of CNN, the plutocrats who own the New York Times, the plutocrat who owns the Washington Post, that would be Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos, who, by the way, has a contract with the CIA for $600 million. Tariffs are bad for them. They're parent companies because if Trump starts... If Trump starts doing tariffs on steel and aluminum, well, that's a slippery slope. What if he starts doing tariffs on things that hurt the parent companies? They want no tariffs, period. So that's why their little public relations puppets that are pretending to be journalists, talking about you, Wolf Blitzer, talking about you, Joe and Mika, talking about you, Chuck Todd, talking about you, good old Andy Cooper. That's why they're worried so much about tariffs, but, oh, the bank's being deregulated? No big deal. No big deal. I don't agree with Trump's tariff plan, but the point is, there's a difference in coverage. The point is, the the um, corporate media will cover, let's say, how Marco Rubio and politicians take too much money from the NRA because their multi-billion dollar corporate parents don't give a crap about the NRA. The NRA's money doesn't help Comcast. The NRA's money doesn't help Time Warner. The NRA's money doesn't help Amazon. But they won't say a damn word about the banks being deregulated. They won't say a damn word about privatization happening in your neighborhood. They're trying... They're trying to privatize everything across the country. Water systems, the energy system, public education. That's what's going on. And say hello to my mother right behind me. Yes, I am broadcasting live from my parents' kitchen where I'm doing physical therapy on Long Island. She's a wonderful lady. And she puts up with a lot from me. But I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Do you like my sweatshirt? Oh, my mom says, come into the frame. Republicans, Democrats, dogs. And she has a check mark with the dogs. There you go. That's fantastic. Uh, we'll do an interview another time that people okay. want to hear from you. She does like Trump, though, so that's kind of discouraging. She's going to yell at me for telling you that. Ay, ay, ay. Can't wait for the memes attacking me that I'm with my, my, uh, in my parents' house. I do have an apartment in the city, but I've been doing physical therapy on Long Island. I digress. But I want to know, and Jen, definitely put the, uh, put the Patreon link in the description and in, uh, I want in the chat so people can go to my Patreon uh, it's patreon.com slash Jordan Jaron reports. I'm going to start interviewing a lot more activists around the country. I just interviewed an activist from Florida who gave me very great information. Tim Canova has filed a lawsuit recently against the Southern Broward County Board of Elections who threw out thousands of ballots in his race against Debbie Watson and Schultz. Oligarchy. But the, but the uh, supervisor of elections who threw out the ballots, nothing's happening to that person. Go figure. But I want to start talking about how oligarchy is affecting you. I want to start talking about how the rig system is affecting you. I want to get your stories out there. So rapid fire, start. Start putting it in the uh, chat so I could read your comments, your concerns. Because I, we're, me as a journalist, as a reporter, a commentator, whatever, uh, is nothing without you. So I want to get your story out there. So. Moms are good. Did Trump have one? <laughs> I know Trump had a dad. I don't know who his mother was. 
Thomas says the oligarchy creates a trickle-up economic system in the guise of trickle-down economics. Revolution. Couldn't agree with you more, Thomas, from Oklahoma. Couldn't agree with you more. And let's not make no mistake, Thomas. Really, this whole, like, Trump's tax plan and bonuses. Oh, you got a 404 Patreon link? I don't know what that means. Hold on. I'll put it right here so you have it in the chat. La da dee, la da da, what will be, will be, will be, will be. All right, this should work, putting it in the chat for you. Um, so the Trump's tax plan, oh, Walmart workers are getting a thousand dollar bonus. Yeah, so they work starvation wages the rest of the year and their thousand dollar bonus after taxes goes down to like, I don't know, 800 something. Thank you for those crumbs. When, you know, uh, but the rest of the year, the CEO of Walmart is making 350 times its worker. Same thing with McDonald's, Burger King. But there's no, there's no lobby for the workers. Is there? There's no lobby for mothers who are choosing this week between whether they could pay for medication or groceries, I interviewed several people around the country the last two years who had to make choices like that. There's no lobby for the people that have been suckered in to these subprime, subprime crappy mortgages. There's no lobby for the people who are being screwed on health care and suddenly their deductibles are higher? And what, what is their choice? Tell me what's going on with you. Hugh Edwards seen set, said, seen 70-year-old working at Walmart. Hugh, I've seen that too. More and more senior citizens on Social Security are having to work after working their whole lives, having to go do manual labor, frankly, they're older because their Social Security benefits aren't the same or Medicaid is being cut. This is how we treat our citizens in a society. And I'm sure Bernie is going to talk about this tonight. He's interviewing Elizabeth Warren, Michael Moore, I believe others. Thork just said, 76-year-old Pizza Hut delivery driver that lives in my town. Yes. America, that shining city on a hill where 95-year-olds on a dialysis machine are going to have to deliver your pizza. It's disgusting what's going on. And by the way, the oligarchy, let's be real. The oligarchy started with the origins of this country. That's why I'm so passionate about covering Native American issues. And if you've seen on this channel, I've covered... Bears Ears, which is a Native American monument that is being shrunk now by 85% by the Trump administration. Why? Drill, baby, drill. Drill, baby, drill. Because the original sin of this country developed the oligarchy. We murdered and committed genocide against Native Americans. We stole their land. And then we started putting in the wealthy folk. So the same exact reason... While we wanted to get away from the British, their tyrannical reign that didn't give us freedom early on in America's days, we elevated people with money. We embraced slavery. We stole land. We murdered. And as we went on, the more money you had meant the more power you had. And that is not a democracy, folks. That is an oligarchy. And a lot of this oligarchy. You're right. I am a land thief because I'm a white person. White people, we got to call it what it is. But this has happened throughout society and it's happening now because make no mistake about it. When politicians are legally allowed to accept bribes and as a result, they simply do the business of their pimps, basically. That is an oligarchy. 
Thork says, the anti-union sentiment at my job where the union ensures our living wage is actually pretty scary. I got news for you, Thork. Unions have been decimated across the country. It started with Reagan. Bill Clinton put it on steroids. He allowed unions to be attacked. And then his wife running for president said, we're stronger together. We're for the unions. John says, the anti-union sentiment in my union is scary. There you go. Frito says, have to work two to three jobs to afford to be broke, living the American dream. Well, Frito, I got news for you. It is the American dream because it's a dream. It's not reality.